Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am doing my mum's nails again. Um, she is due in for a redesign. So she already has a um, a design on at the moment. You would have seen this set on my channel as well. And so obviously I'm going to be removing them. She did lose the nail. Um, to be honest, I don't even know how or what happened or anything. I don't ask anymore because she just... You know, it's one of those things. <laughs> I think she thinks that because obviously I'm here and I live with her all the time and stuff that it doesn't really matter if she breaks one because here I am, ready to fix it, so it's fine. Um, so I'm just using the purple willow bit from Willow Academy to remove this design. It is, it just makes life so easy. This bit does. It's super, super easy and quick to remove um a design. So I'm going in with this one. And then obviously I will be doing, I'll basically just like be prepping after that. I'm just putting it on a time lapse here because it gets pretty repetitive. Um, I don't really have to sit and watch it all in real time because it, it's not the most fun thing to watch, I suppose. So I'm just removing all of the previous set. Um, like I said, this one is on my channel. So if you want to see how I did that one, then you can go and find that already uploaded from a couple of weeks ago and I'm just going in with the I think this is called the Anastasia bit from Willow Academy as well and I'm just basically using this to push back the cuticles and make sure that there's no excess skin on the nail bed I'm sorry if you can hear um like a tapping noise in the background it's my dog he's been asleep for the past hour and then I've gone to pick my phone up to do a voiceover and now he's decided to walk around the room <laughs> and clearly his claws are just way too long because they're so noisy so I'm just using this to push back the skin from the nail um and then obviously once I've done that I can go ahead with I don't think I actually show the rest of my prep because I've included it in other videos before and I just think Although it's satisfying to watch, I just find it pretty boring. So I'm just showing you here, basically go straight into the design. Um, I didn't worry about removing every single bit of the last design because the colours that we're going in with this time are darker and they will hide them. So it's not a problem. So I'm just um, applying my clear layer now because obviously I need to make sure that one, this set doesn't stay in the natural nail. Um, two, there is something for me to file back to next time. And three, these coloured powders aren't strength powders. So that little bit of clear underneath is also a bit of strength as well. So here I'm just applying Purple Haze, which is this beautiful shimmery purple colour. I'm not too bothered about it being like perfect coverage and like all the blend being perfect and everything on this nail because it is going to be covered up with glitter anyway, so it's not an issue. Um, I just want to make sure that there is some colour underneath there because then if there is any tiny gaps in the glitter, it doesn't matter because there is some colour underneath to hide it. So I'm just applying Passion now. This is a glitter from Sparkle Supplies UK. And I'm just picking up a little bit of clear on my brush and then dipping that into uh, the pot of this glitter. So I'm just applying that and then going in with Dusky Rose afterwards, doing the same method and applying that to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna make sure there's a couple of specks of Dusky Rose in the purple and vice versa so it blends in better. And then obviously at the end, I will cap this so I don't file off the glitter when it comes to fine at the end. So once I've done that, we're moving on to the ring finger. Um, I'm not going to lie, I can't 100%. Oh yeah, so this one, I was going to say, I can't really remember what I actually did on this one. So this one is going to be a full nail of raspberry. And then I'm going to be putting some dusky rose glitter like specks on top. Um, I'm really sorry if I sound really sniffly. Like I don't feel sniffly, but I just feel a bit bunged up. Um, it's just hay fever. I'm absolutely fine. It's just annoying. As soon as the sun comes out, which to be fair, is not that often at the moment my hay fever plays up so that's what that is but i'm just applying raspberry to the whole nail and then i will also be applying like i said dusky rose on top i'm not making sure that this is full coverage because i am going to be going in with some foil on top and it is going to cover majority of the nail so i'm not really too fussed about this nail being perfect underneath because it will be covered up anyway so it'd be a bit of a waste of time and glitter but I'm going to be using a foil from Diamond Glitters um, on the top of this nail. And it's quite a large one, so we'll cover a lot of it. But I did like, I do like a little bit of glitter poking through underneath foils. And the next one in the middle is going to be a marble nail. 
Um, so moving on to that one now, I'm going to apply a bit of raspberry. Yeah, a bit of raspberry in the top left corner um, of the cuticle area just to make sure that obviously because it's a little bit difficult to get marble right up into the cuticle area without making a mess and stuff. So just to make sure that it's got some colour on there, I'm just applying that first and then I'm going in with the two colours and then just swirling my brush through them. Not too many times where they blend together, but enough times for them to be dragged through each other. And then I'm just doing that all over this nail and then I will apply a bit of glitter as well. So once I've finished doing the marble, and then just applying some of Passion Glitter at the top left, and then a bit of Dusky Rose at the bottom right, just to make sure I've got both glitters in there to tie it all together. And then I think I popped a few specks through the middle as well of both glitters, just to add a little something extra. And then I am also... No, I think that was it actually. I don't know what I was going to say then, but yeah, I think I just applied both glitters to that middle bit. Yeah, and then we're moving on to the index finger. So on this nail, it's going to be a glitter fade. So I'm starting off with purple haze and I'm going to be putting this all over the nail. At this point, I actually thought that I was going to be doing the fade the other way around. So fading from the cuticle area down, but I decided afterwards to do it the other way around. So if I was going to do it the other way around and I knew from the start, I wouldn't have put so much um, acrylic colour on the tip. I wouldn't have been that bothered about it. Just a little wash would have been fine because obviously I'd have been going over it with glitter anyway. But at this point, I didn't realise that. I changed my mind midway through this nail. Um, so I'm just making sure here that it's all nice and good coverage near the cuticle area because obviously at this point, it was about now that I realised I was going to do it the other way around. Because I automatically always do glitter fades like with the glitter at the cuticle area. And as much as I love that, I don't have a problem with it or anything. I just think it's nice to mix it up sometimes. So that's what I did. So here I went into my clear acrylic and then I picked up Passion and Dusky Rose on the same bead um, to get both of the glitters on this nail. Just to obviously make sure that it's all just linked in with each with each nail like they're all similar sort of thing and then i'm just going to go in and cap the thumbnail was the exact same as the pinky so i didn't bother um filming that because it was the exact same same process all that so it was a bit pointless to film the exact same nail again but here i am just capping this nail i don't think i cap all of them on camera because obviously i do it all the same so i just thought i'd show you this one and then that's sort of it you could see how i do it and then that's it it's not really an issue you've saw it once and then that's enough so here i'm just going in with the wee bit from willow academy again all of my drill bits are always from there so i'm using that one just to make sure that cuticle area is not too thick i did get a bit carried away with capping down there so i've just removed a bit of the bulk and then i'm going in with a sanding band just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and then i will use my file my hand file just to shape and make sure that it's nice and crisp lines again because obviously sometimes you can make your tips like that at the beginning um and then you apply your acrylic and it sort of misshapes it all so it's just nice to get the shape back again So once I've done that, I'm going in with Foil Me from Sparkle Supplies UK. I'm applying that to the ring finger um, because obviously I'm going to be applying a foil, like I said. So this foil here is from Diamond Glitters. Unfortunately, I don't know what it's called because they're, um, they're what's it, uh, their foil packaging that the foils come in doesn't actually say names on them. Um, but obviously it's pretty distinctive. So if you had a quick look on the website, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, I really really love this it's actually the, the like the the lot like the whole thing of the foil is loads of different colored flowers I think there's blues on there as well and stuff like that but because this set was pink and purple we decided to go with a pink flower because it'd stand out nicely against the purple and the leaves almost looked purple I'm not sure whether they actually are but I think it was like a sort of like silvery holographic-y sort of effect but they looked pretty purple when I put them next to purple so it worked out really well we really loved them and um, my mum is absolutely still loving floral foils so these were just what she wanted and these are technically her birthday nails because her birthday is the 7th of June so you know it was perfect timing 
So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you don't already subscribe, then please do. And if you already do, then thank you so much. And I'll be back soon. Bye.